So the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's been out for about three months now. So today I'm gonna do an unboxing and a whole review, but without further ado, welcome to PTQ4. All right, here we go with the unboxing. Also, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max in space black and it's the 512 gigabyte version. Comes the best part. Ooh, yo, oh, that actually looks super sleek. So here's the phone, of course. You got the cable. This is different, actually. This is a new threaded cable. I'm surprised on that one. All right, now let's see what's in here. No longer needing the physical. Oh yeah, another thing that they did with the new iPhone 15 Pro Max is they took out the physical SIM card to do the eSIM card, which I don't, I've never used eSIM card. I'm used to just popping the old SIM card back into the new phone. I'm used to doing that. So I don't know how I feel about that. You got all this instructions and stuff. No need those. Then you got one sticker and then of course, no, no, no cable. Oh my. All right, so we just got the phone set up and I put my phone number in. The phone definitely is a difference to me versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max because that's what I'm upgrading from. Talking about design, first of all, space black. If you have a 13 Pro Max or lower, you know that we had graphite. Speaking of which, I have the 13 Pro Max right here. Just looking at it, they honestly look like the same shade of black. However, I feel like this has a more matte finish. The camera bump is a little bit higher than the 13 Pro Max and it definitely, the cameras definitely stand out more, that's for sure. Another thing that they changed, I was not happy about this, me personally. They changed the, the bezels of the phone to be more matte. So it's like real smooth, real sleek. I personally like the glossy bezels. I just think they looked a little bit more premium. Now as for weight, the weight of these two phones, the, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is like 10% lighter than the 14 Pro Max. I think it's because they removed the stainless steel and they added all titanium. And it honestly, it does, it, it definitely is lighter than the 13 and probably the 14. You got the actual action button versus the little switch that all the other iPhones have. You got the action button now. So now let's talk about the screen, starting with the always on display. Now, when they first introduced this with the iPhone 14, I wasn't really feeling it because I feel like it would take down a lot of battery, but I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Like I can always see my phone still. Like if I'm walking around the house, if I'm cooking or whatever, I got my phone set down. I can just peer over it, see the time, see if I got any notifications, see if I'm getting a call, see exactly who it is. It is cool. It's a cool feature and I do use it and it is quite helpful. And I've only been using it for like a day now. So I can't really judge if the battery life really goes down or not, but from what I've seen, the battery life has not been affected. For the display itself, it's a 4K XDR display, super good quality. It's an OLED display as well. You know, iPhone's been having OLED screens for a minute now, and I just love it, love how it looks. It has a 120 hertz display that was shown on the 13 Pro Max, and honestly, I feel like the 120 hertz display on this phone is a lot smoother probably because of the new a17 pro chip but we're going to get to that later but i think it is just a lot faster now when it comes to watching media and watching like videos i'll pull up youtube and i'll go to the goat right now Kevin salmon get a lot of inspiration from him let's go to his most latest video if i do if i zoom the field if i do full screen i mean honestly the display just looks beautiful i mean you could definitely see the smaller bezels if you're watching a lot of youtube or a lot of movies and you could just see like it looks crystal clear. And then with the dynamic island, the fact that you can see a little bit beyond the dynamic island helps out a lot. I wish they kind of tried to hide a little, little bit better. I feel like that could have been done better, but honestly, I do like it better than the notch. The upgrade with the 15 Pro Max this year versus the 14 Pro Max is that the 15 Pro Max is a thousand nits brightness in indoors, but in outdoor it goes to 2000 nits. Up here, you got the speaker grill as well as the microphone grill, and it's really sleek. I'm surprised about that. I almost couldn't tell where it was at first. I was like, where's the style coming out of? But it's coming out of right here, and that's, that's pretty fire. So let me go down to the bottom. Now, at first, I didn't like the fact that they were going to USB type C. I have a whole bunch of lightning cables. I, I personally wasn't ready to go to type C because I didn't want to switch from that. But then I started thinking about it. I was like, my MacBook Pro uses type C. My iPad Pro uses type C. What, what's wrong with another with another type C device? And the fact that I can use all my cords together with all my devices is like a huge plus. As a matter of fact, just so I can prove it, just so we could all confirm this type C cable, type C cable. Gonna plug it in right there. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, look at that, look at that. Oh shoot, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All my family and friends who use lightning though. Yeah, if you're gonna ask me for a phone cord, I'm probably gonna give you a type C fam. I'm not even gonna hold you. Okay, so now I wanna go over some specs. It has the A17 Pro chip, six core CPU, and six core GPU, and 16 core neural engine. I'm gonna try out one of my favorite games, Call of Duty Mobile. If I am gonna game on the iPhone, it's gonna be Call of Duty Mobile, I can't even lie. All right, let's see how long this takes. Usually it takes 30 seconds to a minute. Oh my days, that is crazy. 
that is that is the fastest speed I've ever seen. So now I want to kind of show how the speakers sound on here. So I'm going to go to so I'm going to go to Epidemic Sound because I don't want to get copyrighted. Also, shout out to Epidemic Sound. That's where I use all my music for a lot of my videos. Hold on. It, OK, so there's like there's no bass. The treble is good, though. The mid tones are great but there's like no bass at all. The kicks are barely hitting, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. All right, so now let's talk about the Dynamic Island. Now, this is a new thing for me. Dynamic Island, I'm just gonna tell y'all, it doesn't do much, but it does have a few animations and a few features, starting definitely with the Face ID. Face ID is definitely a different animation, because look, I'm gonna do it, and you see it comes up like that. And then another one, if I play music, and then if I swipe up, you can see at the top, it'll show the cover art and the waveform will actually be in the same color as the cover art. So that's pretty cool. You can tap on Dynamic Island to go back to YouTube music real quickly, or you can hold it down and you can actually control your music from the top here. Um, another thing that I seen the Dynamic Island do is when you make calls. So I'm gonna call my dad real quick so y'all can see that. Hey dad. Hey son. How do I sound right now? Sound real good, sound real clear. So another thing I wanna show the viewers is like when I swipe up to go out of the call, it actually at the top will show icons showing how long I've been on the phone as well as the live active waveform. So then you can tap on the icon. You can actually show the speaker controls as well as hanging up calls as well as the icon of the contact right there. That's pretty cool. The Dynamic Island has other features, but that's kind of all I've experienced so far. I'm probably gonna do an update video and come back just in case I see any new features. Another feature about the iPhone 15 Pro Max that I was really surprised about, the new action button. The action button has a lot of different stuff it can do so starting with silent mode you know you can set it to silence the phone but then it has a do not disturb or the focus and then the camera i have mine set up for the camera so like when i hold it down it goes straight to the camera you can have it do photo video go straight into selfie mode straight into video mode straight into portrait mode and straight into portrait selfie mode uh, you go have it go flashlight has a voice memo, so you just wanna quickly tap in and record you. Translate will come up, has a magnifier, then it has your own shortcuts and or other accessibilities. Going back to USB Type-C, you can actually now cross charge. I have an older iPhone. I can take the cord, the Type-C and the Lightning. I can just plug it in and then plug this phone in and it'll charge. So now you can actually do that. So if you wanna charge up your other devices or your another phone, you can now do that. Some rumors that I wanna address. So first of all, cause I've only had this phone for now two days. I have not experienced any overheating. When I first used it, I did experience it getting pretty hot. That's one thing, like it got decently hot. I had a case on it and I could feel the heat through the case. It didn't overheat, but it was significantly hot. For battery life on the specs it does say 29 hours of battery. I'm not gonna really test it in this video. From what I've noticed so far, it's actually really, really good. It is a very significant difference between my old phone. Speaking of battery, the iPhone 15 Pro Max does have MagSafe, which was introduced with the 12 Pro Max. Bam, and you have to sit it down on there, magnetizes and it's charging. I actually use a Spigen, like the MagFit case connects it well to there as well because it has a magnet inside of it. Let's talk about the main reason why I upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's cameras. This iPhone has the ability to take 48 megapixel photos. That's crazy. This camera right now is actually 45, it's actually 45, either 45 to 48 megapixels. All right, so, so it has a 24 millimeter lens, 28, 35, 48 millimeter or almost like a 50. And then it has a 120 millimeter lens. So that's pretty cool. It's all you saying some people, yeah, I know y'all been had it and all that stuff like that. We know, okay. But when you send it to us, we can't even see it cause it's pixelated. And then also has the 13 millimeter lens. And also take a macro photo and then you can just get so close to this thing. Yeah. But also the selfie cam is now 12 megapixels and it can shoot in raw. That's crazy. For video, it has 4K, 4K24, 4K30. I can change it to 4K60 as well. And it also has an action mode, which is really, it's really better and more light. And then in cinematic mode, you have 4K. The iPhone 13 Pro Max did not have cinematic mode in 4K and I was bummed out about that. But the main thing, the main thing that really made me upgrade 
when I saw these cameras was the fact that it now has ProRes log. That I'm gonna do a whole video going more in depth with the cameras, but just to show y'all just a little test in this video, if you wanna do a test and use this camera and replace it with the Canon R5, this main, my main A camera, just to see if there's any difference and it's any difference with the log. And if you think it could be used as an actual A cam. All right, so this is the iPhone 50 Pro Max in ProRes log. This is ProRes log graded. And that's the Canon R5 in C-Log and then C-Log graded. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Like I said, I'm gonna do an in-depth, more in-depth video on this camera just to kind of go into it. And I'm also using the microphones that are on the iPhone. And the iPhone is probably about, probably about three feet in front of me. So let me know how it sounds. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow my Instagram at ptqiv4. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff on there and I also do a lot of my photography and some of my reels and some of my video work on there if y'all wanna see some of that. Please like and subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you know what I'll be posting. Ask any questions away in the comments. I will be looking at all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay blessed.